Hey Dino fans, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to take a deep dive into the life of one of the most unique theropods that ever walked the earth, Baryonyx. This fascinating creature, known for its fish-eating habits and crocodile-like features, offers a unique glimpse into the diversity of the dinosaur world. We'll cover everything from its discovery to its evolution, so stick around if you're ready to explore this incredible dinosaur. The story of Baryonyx begins in January 1983, when an amateur fossil hunter named William Walker made an extraordinary find in a clay pit in Surrey, England. While searching for fossils, Walker stumbled upon a large claw, which turned out to be just the tip of the iceberg. Further excavation led to the discovery of a nearly complete skeleton, a rare occurrence for theropods, especially in Europe. The specimen was so unique that it warranted the creation of a new genus and species, which was named Baryonyx walkeri in honor of Walker's incredible discovery. Before this find, the concept of a fish-eating theropod was almost unheard of. The discovery of Baryonyx changed the prevailing view of theropods as purely terrestrial predators, opening up new possibilities for understanding their ecological diversity. Baryonyx was a theropod like no other. Its most striking feature was its large sickle-like claw, measuring 31 centimeters or 12 inches in length, located on the first finger of each hand. This claw was so prominent that it became the namesake for the species, Baryonyx, meaning heavy claw. But that's not all that set Baryonyx apart. Its skull was long and narrow, reminiscent of a crocodile, with a set of conical teeth that were ideal for gripping slippery prey like fish. Unlike most theropods, which had teeth adapted for tearing flesh, Baryonyx's teeth were made more suited for holding onto its catch, suggesting a diet that was heavily reliant on aquatic prey. In terms of its overall build, Baryonyx was robust, with a large neck, muscular limbs, and a relatively long tail, which may have helped with balance and maneuverability, both on land and in water. Its arms were longer than those of most theropods, likely an adaptation for fishing and possibly even digging. Baryonyx belongs to the Spinosauridae family, a group of theropods that includes some of the most unusual dinosaurs ever discovered, such as Spinosaurus and Struchomimus. This family is known for its members' semi-aquatic adaptations, which is a significant departure from the typical theropod lifestyle. Baryonyx lived during the Paramium stage of the early Cretaceous period, around 130 million years ago. At this time, Europe was a series of islands surrounded by shallow seas and river systems, making it an ideal habitat for a semi-aquatic predator. The Spinosauridae family is believed to have evolved from earlier, more typical theropods, gradually developing adaptations that allowed them to exploit aquatic environments. Baryonyx's long snout and conical teeth are perfect examples of these adaptations, which is shared with its more fearsome cousin, the Spinosaurus. In terms of size, Baryonyx was impressive, but not colossal. It measured approximately 31 feet in length and weighed around 1.2 tons, making it comparable in size to other mid-sized theropods like Allosaurus. While it wasn't the largest predator of its time, its size was well suited to its ecological niche. Its robust build suggests it was a powerful animal capable of tackling a variety of prey from fish to small dinosaurs. One interesting aspect of Baryonyx's size is the potential for sexual dimorphism, where males and females differ in size or physical characteristics. While this hasn't been conclusively proven in Baryonyx, some paleontologists speculate that differences in claw size and overall build could indicate sexual dimorphism with males possibly being larger or having more pronounced claws. 
Baryonyx was a creature of the waterways. Its fossil remains have been found in what were once riverine environments, suggesting that it spent much of its time near water. The structure of its skull and teeth strongly indicate a diet primarily composed of fish, making it one of the earliest known fish-eating dinosaurs. Evidence of this diet comes from fish scales and bones found in the stomach region of the original Baryonyx fossil, along with the bones of a young iguanodon hinting that Baryonyx wasn't strictly a pescatarian and may have occasionally scavenged or hunted other animals. The semi-aquatic lifestyle of Baryonyx likely involved hunting fish in rivers and lakes, using its powerful claws to hook slippery prey and its crocodile-like jaws to snap them up. It may have also used its claws for digging or even for defense against other predators. Its long arms and strong build suggest that Baryonyx was a versatile predator capable of exploiting a range of food sources in its environment. Life for Baryonyx wasn't easy though. The early Cretaceous was a time of significant change with rising sea levels and shifting ecosystems. Baryonyx's adaptability to both land and water may have given it an edge in surviving these changes, but it also faced competition from other predators, including its Spinosauridae and more traditional theropods. Baryonyx is a testament to the diversity and adaptability of theropod dinosaurs. With its fish-eating habits, semi-aquatic lifestyle, and unique physical features, it challenges the conventional image of theropods as purely land-based predators. The discovery of Baryonyx not only expanded our understanding of dinosaur ecology, but also highlighted the importance of fossil discoveries in uncovering the hidden complexities of prehistoric life. Thanks for joining me on this deep dive into the world of Baryonyx. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future prehistoric adventures. Until next time, keep exploring and stay curious.